Welcome back and good morning, Central Oregon. Wendy Duncan, life success consultant, is in this morning and she is refusing to take part in this recession and she's going to tell us how we can do that too. Good morning. Good morning, Christy. We have, um, and you see it in the news, you see it everywhere, we have so much negative energy mm -hmm. in the country right now. Yeah, we do. Yeah. And it's just a, a fever pitch. It is. And you know, the more we talk about it, it's like, tossing gasoline on a fire. The more you talk about it, the more it spreads. Mm -hmm. And you know, we really have to ask ourselves, is there an opportunity here? Because we have to get through this. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, you don't have to listen to everything that you hear and, and listen to everybody talking around work. You, you can really just use your creative imagination and find some opportunities. And, and I have a couple of examples. Um, you know, there are, there are people who, you know, three years ago wanted to buy real estate and they wanted a real deal. Mm -hmm. Okay, real estate was at the top then. And uh, today, real estate is on sale at a discount mm -hmm. and you can still get a loan. So don't come back three years from now when, when prices are starting to edge up and say, you know, I really should have jumped on board three years ago. Mm -hmm. you know? So it's a great opportunity to buy, to buy real estate. Um, I ask myself every day, you know, am I doing everything I can to succeed? Uh, it might be time to get a second job. Now, I know a lot of people out there are, are getting second jobs in, in order to, you know, really supplement their income. Mm -hmm. uh, there are also opportunities for network marketing, and I know some people love it and some people don't, mm -hmm. but it is a new day. So we're going to have to think a little bit outside the box. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of opportunities there. And uh, if you're a business owner, it's really time to pare down. Uh, maybe you don't need nine copy machines. Maybe you only mm -hmm. need three. Mm -hmm. So it might be time to really look at your business and see how you can cut costs. What about people who maybe have wanted to do something forever? Maybe they've had a dream of doing something forever. They're working at a job they hated they a year hate. ago, but now are suddenly holding on to it like it's the last <laughs> straw you know, that they've got. Yes. Is this an opportunity for them? Absolutely. Every single day I coach people who, who live in worry, doubt, and fear mm -hmm. of losing the job that they really can't stand. Mm -hmm. And so yes, today there is an opportunity to maybe go back to school, um, maybe do some self-help, take a couple of classes. Um, you know, I've really found that when you're living in a stressful environment, it's hard to calm down mm -hmm. and really open up your mind as to what else could you be doing. You know, the, the tension and stress are just going to tire you out. Mm -hmm. And, and this, this will just keep, you know, getting worse and worse and worse. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I would really challenge everybody today, you know, take the next 90 days and have the best attitude you can have. Try to not listen to all of the negative news mm -hmm. and, and really open up your creative mind. What else can I be doing to help myself get through this? Mm -hmm. And you've had buttons made, I correct? I have. Here's one for you. Thank you. <laughs> I give these away and it's just a little reminder that you don't have to participate in a recession, mm -hmm. even though, you know, I, I realize what the country is in, but we can rise above this. And I think we'll all come out of this a lot stronger mm -hmm. for having gone through it. Well, and like you said too, though, this is, I mean, for many people, uh, myself included, I mean, I'm almost addicted to the news. I have to yeah. know what's going on because it's so easy to know what's going on and mm -hmm. it's immediate. Mm -hmm. And it's not always, it's never really positive, um, but it's an, it's an entire change in the way you think. It correct? is. Do you find yourself feeling good when you listen to the negative news? No, not no. at all. Not I at mean, all. I, I find myself sliding there too. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not a skill that you learn overnight. But if you can be aware of when you're going into that place and you, and you think to yourself, you know, I can accept or reject this. Mm -hmm. I really can choose to think positively. I can choose to uh, think of a few solutions on my own, and I really, really encourage 
you know, anybody that I coach to do that. Mm -hmm. And as I said, it doesn't happen overnight, but I, I have the skill set to help people do that. Yeah. Well, and let's talk about that too, yes. because I, I mean, originally we weren't, we were just going to talk about the recession, but I want to bring that up because a lot of people are turning to life, life success consultants, life mm -hmm. coaches, um, for just another uh, tool in their toolbox. Absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm a great uh, example. I, I suffered from migraines since I was 12 years old. And it wasn't until I learned more about the power of my mind mm -hmm. and also about my programming, you know, my habits and my conditioning, that I was really able to turn that around. And in the last year, I've been able to get off all of my migraine medication. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, it doesn't happen overnight, but through the help of a coach who will, who will give you the tools that you need mm -hmm. to you know, how does my mind work? Why do I think the things that I think? Mm -hmm. and, and then to put a plan in place for goal setting mm -hmm. and achieving those goals. And believe me, I mean, however old you are, I, I mean, I have over 40 years of programming mm -hmm. <laughs> to overcome and, mm -hmm. to, and to change. Right. But it can be done. Yeah. And sometimes it takes a third party to, you know, say to you, you know, you need to yeah. think differently. As, as it does with a lot of things. <laughs> Absolutely. If you have questions for Wendy, her uh, email address is wendy at wendyduncan.com. So wendy at wendyduncan.com. It was great to see you, you this morning. You too, Christy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right now we're going to check.